Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and it's Tuesday, making it Lightroom Tuesday. So if you want more Lightroom stuff, please do consider subscribing. Folks, what we're going to talk about today is something that I just literally need to do right now, and that is to set up my Instagram so that I can publish directly from Lightroom to Instagram without having to send it to Dropbox to my phone or something like that. So I can do all the text and manage the stuff inside Lightroom itself. Hey folks, so we're going to use a plugin. Um, it's a $10 plugin, um, but you can buy all the plugins from this company for $25. And so that plugin is called LR Instagram, and it's on LRInstagram.com. And yes, it works, and I use it all the time. So that is LR Instagram. So as we see it here, it literally looks like LR Instagram. It's actually a single page site. So if I page down, um, it goes through all the stuff where you can get it and where you can pay for and all that kind of stuff. All right. It is pretty straightforward. Um, so you get information from it there and you just pay for it and it works. Right, so let me go back to Lightroom and talk about the setup on it. Uh, the way it works is that you come into the plugin manager, okay? And then you would click add and add it. Add, and then you would literally go to the folder where it is and select it so it could go add. And I think in my site by documents, I actually put stuff inside that. And I remote, no, that's not the right folder. Lightroom plugins, and we can see that we have LR Instagram there. And you then select, select it and click add plugin. I already have it in, so I'm not gonna have it going. So what happens is you get to see this. And so put in your distribution and stuff like that. So it's registered as you can see for that. And you can use proxies if you want. Okay, so that's just the general information there. All right. So now in use, what happens is that shows up in the Publish Manager, which is here, Publish Services, and it just showed up as LR Instagram. And now what you do is you right click on it and you set it up. Now I am gonna set up a new service, and um, I will blur out the bits, obviously. Uh, so I'm just gonna go create another Publish Service, or in the, in the case of the start one, you would actually just create a Publish Service via LR Instagram. Okay, and so that will bring up the Publishing Manager so that you set up your stuff. So I'm going to call this the name of the account, which is a commercial account. Commercial Insta, which is what it's for. So I'm going to put in the Instagram handle. And put in the password, which I've completely forgotten. I click log in then. It will authenticate it, hopefully. Okay, so that has now authenticated. And so you have some upload limits and things like that. So you've got, a, you can set up to five, you only allowed up five at a time. That just prevents you uploading way too many images. And um, this also gives you an option when removing photos. So if you pull a photo off the published service, like behind here, that it still leaves it up on Instagram. You can also force padding to square. So that means that it will pad it out to make your images square. Um, and the padding border, it will let me whatever color you're here, white or black, and then the, the way the caption works, you'll have the caption followed by the hashtags. All right, but you can set up your own custom template if you want, and it will draw from the title or the caption or whatever way you want it yourself. Okay, so that is just the basics for it here. You can also choose to add a watermark and you can sharpen it for the screen, for example, as well. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to bother adding a watermark to this particular one, even though it is a commercial site and technically I want some branding on it. I'm not going to bother with that for now. So you click save. And this will now create a new service here. So we can see here that we now have commercial Insta here. We can see that there's nothing in it, but we have Instagram photos. So now what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to drag something that I've already published to uh, my Sean Mac photo account and drag it here um, because I'm targeting different people with it. And so I have a little caption in here. Uh, so I'm just going to get rid of this bit of a sentence talking about this. And the hashtag's already in there, so it'll just put them in together. And then when this is ready to go, I will literally click publish. And that is now published. And I can right click on it or control click on it and go uh, show in Instagram. And that will actually pull it up and show it on Instagram. So as you can see, that has gone directly to Instagram. So as you can see, that's a very, very useful plugin to have, especially if you want to get your commercial stuff or your client stuff onto Instagram without having to try to go through a phone. It's definitely worth paying for the license for, and I highly recommend it. And um, 
I obviously there's no affiliate link or anything like that with it. So, um, the a guy Jonah who's made them, brilliant, love it. I actually love a bunch of the plugins, and I did write about these plugins for Maximum Workflow before on Kelvy One's magazine, uh, Lightroom magazine. So, <coughs> folks, if you found it useful, do subscribe. Uh, hit the like button if you like the video, and of course, get the notification bell binged if you want to uh, get notified, basically, when new videos come online. Thanks for taking time to watch this, and I will see you in the next one.